Good evening, everyone. I hope you're well and that you've had a good week. Thanks for checking in this evening for your Saturday news update and a little prayer time together as well, just to keep you informed as to what's going on in the life of the parish this week. As I was saying last week, we're setting up a, a wider pastoral care scheme in order to try to cover everyone in our parish. And so we've got several pastoral visitors who are helping to phone around uh, each of you. And uh, as I said last week, those include uh, David and Noel and Linda, uh, also Jamesy and Karen Miles and Sylvia and myself. And so do be looking out for a, a phone call from, from us at some stage uh, over the course of the next few weeks or so. And uh, we're trying to keep in touch with everybody and make sure everybody's okay and also give you an opportunity to, to hear from us and to pray with you as well, if you would like that. Uh, and just do remember as well, if there's anything that you need help with or you would like to talk to me about at any stage, do be in touch. And uh, I will always love to, to chat with you and to, to pray with you as, as well. And uh, if there's anything we can help you with, please let us know about that too. In the next uh, week or so, we're going to be putting out another update letter in the post. Uh, so you'll be able to, again, be reminded of what's going on in that way as well. Uh, so look, look out for that in the next week to 10 days or so. Um, but we'll be reminding you by, by writing about the pastoral care system that we're setting up. We also ask that you be praying for us at this time as we continue to, to, to think ahead about how we're taking the church forward as we keep reminding ourselves the buildings are closed but the church is open and the work of the church continues uh, even in this lockdown period as well. So do, do be praying for uh, for me and the leadership as we think about how to take things forward. Also for the select vestry as we consider some important issues, particularly with buildings and works that, that need to be done there as well, even in these days. Upcoming this week, beginning on Thursday, uh, as some of you will have begun to see on our Facebook page, uh, Thursday begins our 10 days of prayer from Ascension Day to Pentecost Sunday that uh, Bishop David has asked us to embark upon. And uh, so you'll see uh, over the next days uh, different videos and things that will, will come up on your Facebook feed and also LinkedIn and the website um, for, for you to watch in order to sort of key you into some key areas to be praying for and focusing on on each of those days. Uh, on Thursday evening, uh, of this week, the 21st, that's Ascension Day. Uh, Noel will be bringing us a, a video message uh, and be looking together at God's Word and bringing, bringing a word from, from there and inviting us to pray together as a parish to kick all of this off. Uh, and then uh, the following week on the Tuesday night, the 26th, I've invited the Select Vestry to, to gather together for a Zoom meeting and uh, we're going to be hearing from Bishop David and praying together for the church. And then on the Thursday evening, the 28th, uh, we're going to be gathering together for a Zoom parish prayer meeting. And all are welcome to join in to that. So do be looking out for those links and opportunities on Facebook and on the website uh, beginning on Thursday and following through those 10 days of prayer. And I really encourage you uh, to join together with me and with our diocese as we pray for a real spiritual harvest during this time of lockdown. We all know that we there are so many of us that have questions and, and uh, we're seeking in these days. And, and uh, we take comfort that we have the Lord and we, we, we know he's got us and, and we can rest in his arms. But so many in our world and in our lives even, uh, haven't yet crossed that line of faith and they're asking questions and they're seeking comfort and they're wondering and they, they're looking for hope and you know just as signs of that I posted over this last week uh, a message from Pete Gregg uh, who's written the book How to Pray and uh, if, if you didn't see that message or take time to read it on Facebook go back and, and read what he says there's signs of hope and excitement and encouragement as people are looking to God and turning their hearts towards God in this time. Uh, the statistics have shown that in these days, one in four people across the UK have dialed in, have, have watched a, a church service 
uh, more people watching church services than, than ever before uh, in, in the days that preceded the, the lockdown. Uh, immediately preceded them. It's so encouraging. Um, recently, we've just begun a diocesan uh, online alpha course, and there's over a hundred people signed up uh, to, to go on that alpha course. And uh, many of those are turning up every week in order to be a part of that. Uh, over this past week, uh, I think it was last Sunday, I posted up the, the UK version of The Blessing, and again, if you didn't get to see that, uh, go onto our Facebook page and, and watch that amazing video as uh, worship leaders from across the UK gathered together in order to sing that song of blessing over our nation. And you know what? Over two and a half million people have now seen that video. That's astounding. Staggering numbers of people have watched that video and have been encouraged by it. Yeah, so there is so much to be thankful for even in these days of lockdown. And I want to encourage us as a parish to press into that and to pray that God would bring about a spiritual harvest in these days as people ask questions as they look to him for hope that they would find the Lord Jesus Christ and be transformed themselves as they give their life to him. You know, uh, I'm standing in front of my bush again. I told you about this bush several weeks ago. And I wonder if you can notice that even in these weeks, it's sprung to life even more. It's just, uh, the, it's going crazy behind me here, growing and growing and growing. And even just uh, above, you can see hidden behind some of the foliage there, some blossoms beginning to, to poke out as well. There's life, there's, there's transformation. Uh, of what has, has come about from the, the, the deadness that it, it appeared to, to be in the winter time. And now in the springtime, life is, is bursting forward. And, and I wonder, you know, uh, if that has got something to say to us. And I think it does, because uh, today, as I just looked uh, briefly at the Lexio uh, 365 app that I told you about last week, that's looking at Pete Gregg's book, uh, How to Pray. And it's thinking a bit about contemplative prayer today. And uh, this is the, 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 these are the verses that, that we read in the app today, coming from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians in chapter 3, where Paul writes and he, and he says this, But whenever anyone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory which comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. And Pete Gregg sort of pulls out of that and reminds us that we are all being transformed into something and the question is in this time of, of isolation, in this time of lockdown, how are you being transformed? And, and the point that, that Paul is making here is that as we contemp contemplate the Lord's glory, as we focus our lives on him, as we point ourselves in his direction, we will be transformed and become more like him. But if we point our lives in a different direction, if we spend our days con contemplating other things, if we allow our lives to be focused on worry and anxiety and fear and, and different things like that, um, we might find that we're being transformed in a different direction. And the question I want to put it to us this evening is, are you focusing your life on Jesus? Are you studying God's word? Do you have a, a way every day that, that you uh, take time out in order to read God's word and pray? The Lexio 365 app is a great way of doing that. Just a, a few verses that they look through and, and, and guide you through some prayer and give you some moments of silence in your day just to take time out. Or maybe the YouVersion Bible app. There's plenty of beautiful Bible reading plans on there that you can read either through the whole Bible or parts of the Bible and you can take time out and you, you can pray. Take time out with the Lord in these days. Don't let this opportunity be wasted to take time aside with the Lord and to allow him to transform you into the likeness of Jesus Christ in ever-increasing glory. That's, that's what happens when we 
when we give our lives to following Jesus and spend our days contemplating his beauty and as we point our lives towards Jesus we become inevitably more like him. I want to pray for you this evening as we go to sleep. Tomorrow I remind you 10 o'clock there's Kids Church online, Facebook, uh, YouTube, all the normal places, the website and then 11 o'clock our church service will go up again as well and can I just encourage you as well uh, share, share it out with your friends you know um, sh share the, the Facebook uh, posts with, with your friends so that they too can see our church services and be encouraged by them as well and let's bless our community and our world as much as we can with the good news that we have to offer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, for, for the good news of Jesus Christ. We thank you that there is hope in the name of Jesus. We thank you that the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and are saved. And Lord Jesus, we thank you this evening that we have that hope that whenever we trust in you, our lives are on solid rock, solid foundation, and we will never be shaken. And Lord, we pray that uh, tonight as we, as we go to bed, as we sleep, we pray that we will rest soundly in you. This week as we move forward, we pray that you will fill us with hope upon hope, that you will help us as each day we focus our lives on you, Lord Jesus, that you will help us to become more like you and the way that you are thinking about our world and the way that you see uh, our lives and the way that you see our reality. Help us to see things as you see them. Help us to hear what you are saying to us in these days. And Lord Jesus, help us by the power of your Holy Spirit to become more like you in ever increasing ways, day by day, transformed into the image of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that you are with us and you are for us. We thank you for Jesus and we thank you that you've given us your spirit in order to help us along the way. This week, may we know your hope and peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord bless you and look forward to seeing you in the morning for worship together.